that leads from his son to ours, leading us to inspiration, to eloquence, to beauty of words. Omnios, inspire, hear our heartfelt words. We pray that you grant us the wisdom and the ability to treat you and all the other spirits well in this life. Omnios, accept our offering. Omnios, accept our offering. Now, we gather energy and create our sacred space here. Breathe deep again and feel yourself become part of this world around you. Feel from the bottoms of your feet, roots grow down through the cement not only straight down, but also next to you, anchoring you and entwining with those around you, making you all stronger. Feel that top root go even further down through the soil, through the cold soil, into the bedrock. Feel that root break through that bedrock, down to water the waters, the powerful waters that circle the earth. As you inhale, feel those waters come up that top root. With each inhale, they come further. Feel the waters come into that into the soil. Feel them come through your own roots and those around you. As you inhale and you feel that earth energy reach the bottom of your feet and feel that coolness, that power tingling. Breathe again and those waters come up to your knees and you feel yourself anchored to the soil. Breathe again and those waters come up to your hips. Your legs are now solid part of the earth. Breathe again and those waters reach into your stomach where you feel the power tingling around you. One more breath and those waters reach your heart who pumps those waters throughout your entire body. You are now connected to that earth power and those waters below you and you are part of that system and that cycling. Look above you and feel the sun and through the roof above us beating down on you. Feel branches come through your shoulders, out of your shoulders, reaching all around you, not only up, but next to you, entwining with those around you, again, making those around you and yourself stronger. Feel the spring come to your branches and those buds forming. Feel the leaves unfurling for those branches, soaking up that warmth of the sun, 
and feel that warmth come down into your shoulders and mixing with that power that you pulled from the earth waters. Feel both the sun energy, the waters of the earth mixing within you. Hold on to that energy, to some of that energy. Feel the rest come through the leaves and then drink, sprinkle down back into the soil, just like a tree does now. Feel fall coming as it is. Some leaves have already started to turn. Feel the leaves that you actually, that you have, start matching that orange and yellow of the leaves that are around us now. Feel those leaves drop back into the earth, returning some of that energy to the earth, but retain energy for you for this ritual. Feel those branches appear back into your shoulders. <coughs> Feel them brushing against those next to you. Know the branches won't be there, but we still share that strength with each other. Feel those roots come back out of that cool earth water. Again, as, your, as those roots come back into your feet, be able to brush you against those next to you. Whether you be pagan, you're Briton, Druid, as a true, not pagan, we all gain strength from each other as part of the sacred grove. We now make this space sacred to our ritual today. We give, we gather the energy throughout all this ritual. The waters support and surround us. The land extends about us. The sky stretches out above us. Our center burns a living flame. May all the kindreds bless us. May our worship be true. May our actions be just. May our love be pure. Blessings, honor, and worship to the Holy Ones. Kishale. And we now howl the space, the fire will and tree with our quarter song. assistance and protection for us before we open the gate. Children of Earth, breathe deep in this space. Here where a well, a fire, and a tree stand at the center of all. Close your eyes for a moment. And open your mind to magic. You come into this space where the realms meet, where the world is at its center. And with our mind's eye, 
we see the mist begin to surround this face. Let it fill your inner vision, this mist of magic. Know that it is cool to the touch, yet warming. Know that it is gray and colorless, yet full of flashes of color. Know that it is formless, yet full of shapes that arise and dissipate back into those mists. Children of Earth, these are the mists of magic that surround the sacred center. And once again, in your mind's eye, see those mists as they begin to part, to come apart at the center, revealing the waters. They may roll up like a curtain. They may roll back, revealing more. They may roll apart. However they do, see the waters at the edge of the land as they do so in your mind's eye. And there, in the waters at the edge, stands a crane. One foot is on the land, one foot is in the water. His eye seeks the heaven. This is Garnus, the crane who walks with us, who stands at the center beside us, who stretches out among all the realms. For he sleeps on the land, he fishes the waters, he flies through the heavens and out beyond the night way, far beyond this mortal realm. This is Garnus Crane, who walks with us, who flies with us, who stands at our center with us. <coughs> Children of Earth, call in your way, however you see fit to this crane. Garnus Crane, we call to you, bright one at the center, you, who steps with us through the mist, you whose wing covers us, guider, warder of the elder ways, we call to you. Opener of ways, bright eye that is the dawn. You, who draw us to our ancestors and bring us closer to them, we call to you. We, the children of the earth, call out. Garnus Crane, meet us at the boundaries. Guide us, ward us as we walk these elder ways. Garnus Crane, accept our offering. Garnus Crane, accept our offering. Children of earth, we call out now when we ask that this crane join his magic with ours. We prepare to open the gates. Deep within the earth, a well resides. It flows up from the bosom of the earth. It is the eye and the mouth of earth. It is the bright place where we can find wisdom, where we can reach our ancestors. In your mind's eye, see this water as it reaches down into the earth. See this water as it flows across the bosom of the earth. See this water as it flows for all of us. And let this well open as a gate. And this fire kindled upon the land born in the waters, and with a pillar of smoke that reaches to the heavens, supporting it, brightening it, carrying our offerings. See this fire as it arises from the center. See this fire as it fills your heart and your mind, and let this fire open as a gate. 
and here at the center this tree, a post now, but with roots that reach deep into the earth. See them flow down in the mist. See the branches rise up to support the sky. See all these things. Let the drip line of this tree surround this space protecting us all. And let this tree open and stand at the center as a gate. Children of Earth, in your mind's eye, see these things as they are so. Breathe deep at the center. And children of Earth, call with me. And let the gates be open. Let the gates be open. Here in this space, in this center, our words are sacred, our actions are just. Let nothing that is not meant for the spirits pass our lips. Let nothing that is not meant for the spirits be done by our hand, and let nothing that is not meant for the spirits be thought of in our minds and hearts. So be it. So be it. We had one reminder that there were actually Native American earthworks near here. And the first offering for a kindred I wanted to give to the ancestors are actually of this place of tobacco. And thank you for us in allowing us to use this place uh, for hope that we actually, you know, return it to a better position than when we found it. And the hopes that, you know, everything that we've done to the earth can be reversed. Thank you. Ancestors of this place. Offer you. Now we'll offer to our kindred. The ancestors, nature spirits, and sun ones. The children of Earth call out to those that through their struggle and sacrifice paved the way for a better life for us, their descendants. Join us as we celebrate the lives you live and the continued love and protection you give us from beyond the gates. Meet us at the boundary to aid and guide us as we walk the other ways. I give you welcome at our sacred fire. Ancestors, accept our sacrifice. Ancestors, accept our sacrifice. We children of the earth call out to the spirits of nature, you citizens and denizens of all the realms, you being seen and unseen of all the worlds, from the deep molten core to the farthest reaches of frozen space. You of metal and stone, of crystal, of the soil. You of root and stem, fruit and flower. You of fur and feather, scale and skin. Life stands with life, kin beside kin. Let us live in harmony with all the plants of the land. Spirits of nature, meet us at the boundaries. Join us at the sacred hearth and be warmed by our good fire. Guide us and aid us as we walk the elder ways. Nature spirits, accept our offering. Nature spirits, accept our offering. first children of the mother, wisest and mightiest, loving and comforting gods and goddesses, we offer you welcome to the gods and goddesses of this place. Ancient, powerful, known and unknown, gods of this place, we offer you welcome. And to all the deities here gathered, of those here gathered today, you who we worship, you who we Those who inspire us, those who are powerful, we offer you welcome. Come to our fire, shining ones. 
Meet us at the boundaries. Join us here at our sacred hearth and be warmed by our good fire. As Aid us as we walk the elder ways. Shining ones, accept our offering. Shining ones, accept our offering. <laughs> And now we give time for you to offer, for you our, yeah, to offer to the kindred any ancestors, any nature spirits, or any gods and goddesses that you would like to offer to. You're welcome to, uh, as of now. Um, there's also additional offerings here. Um, leave the fork. Children of Earth, you heard in our pre-ritual briefing, and you heard, you will hear again, the song we're about to sing, the Tutates, that when we speak of Tutates, we often speak of masculine form, because that happens to be the gender of the term in Gaulish. Um, but, each of us will see this day in their own way. And what that means is that the god of the tribe, the god of this tribe, the god of the folk that we are, is one that comes to us, speaks to us. I sometimes see this deity as a gardener, myself. I sometimes see this deity as a crane, myself. This guy over here sees him as a mantis. <laughs> there are lots of ways to see these spirits. What I want you to do is to 
think about what brought you here today. What brought you here the first time that you came here? What is it about this grove, the kind of folk that it is, that it has, the kind of space it creates, that has you coming back, that has you feeling like this might be somewhat home for you? Picture in your mind what God, what spirit, what goddess comes out of the mist for you as we honor the times. So, children of Earth, I have lots of options of what I can offer up here, <laughs> honestly, but this is what I'm going with. Once upon a time, our grove did service. And for that service, we won mistletoe. Sounds strange to say, but it is true. <laughs> and to this day, when we offer to Tutates, when we speak of Tutates, we often refer to the grove won mistletoe. Today, we offer some of that. So once again, breathe deep. Find your center. Show the earth, call out from our center. Tutates, hear our words. God of the tribe, you whose voice is bright in our hearts, you who carries us, you who feeds us, you who brings us out of the dark. Bridge builder, you who have given us the way, we call to you. Gardener, who cuts away that which we no longer need, we call to you. Crane, mantis, spirit, all these things. Spirit that comes to us in the way that we wish to see you and that we need to see you. To Tate, we call to you. We of this grove have honored you. For 15 years, we have won mistletoe in your name, and it has blessed us in turn. We have snatched the egg from the serpent. We have taken strides to fulfill the vision that we were given. And we come today to offer that praise to speak to you from the center where the fire burns, where the well is deep, where the tree surrounds us all. Tutantes, patron of this rite and of our folk, you are known to each of us in our own way. And today, we know that we are known to you in your own way. Tutantes, Lord of the tribe, and all the names you are known by, we call to you and we say, Tutantes, accept our offering. Tutantes, accept our offering. Have the folk brought praise? We have. Then bring it forth.
there's two that were there for our first ritual. <laughs> it's true, we tell, we tell this story all the time. Uh, so I think we're going to give the abbreviated version this year, but for those of you mostly over there uh, who have not heard this story before, 15 years ago, uh, 15 years ago, 16 years ago? Uh, this is our 16th time 16th, doing it, but this is our 15th 15 year. 15 years yes. ago. Uh, so there were these two nerdy druids uh, who met out here in the woods. Um, that way. Somewhere. Yep. And uh, we, we milled around for a while, trying to figure out what we were going to say. We, uh, we read our parts off paper. We absolutely forgot to bring a flashlight. Uh, and we timed it very badly, so the sun sort of set as uh, we were in the middle of the ritual. Not only did the sun set, but the fire also kind of dropped down to embers. And we were not quite as good at keeping a fire going as we are now. We've learned a lot of things in 15 years. And flashlights and fires are like the top of the list. Um, so we made offerings of pork to the ancestors, and we didn't have, like, a potluck. So when the ritual was over, we ate that pork, and the light was bad, and we kind of hoped that it was cooked most of the way through. Um, now, the, <laughs> the good news that we remind ourselves of every year is that the ancestors cannot get trichinosis, and fortunately we didn't either. Uh, we, we all came out of it healthy. Um, but what I want to focus on is that right at the beginning of the discussion about Tutates, uh, Michael made a very good point. Um, he talked about what it is that brought you out here. And what brought us out here 15 years ago was not two dorky druids in the woods, though that was very nice. Um, what brought us out here was the idea that two dorky druids in the woods could become uh, seven dorky druids in a grove. And it did. Uh, what, about a year later? Not even a year yeah. later. Uh, Became, uh, became the first seven signatories of the Grove Charter, the first uh, official members uh, of our nominally chartered Grove, uh, became, what is this, 20 people uh, celebrating the kindreds uh, out in the woods here every year. And literally two, and if we're fair, three-ish generations uh, of cranes here, uh, this, is, this is a lot. And, and it's, you know, it waxes and wanes, but this thing here, this community, this is actually what brought us out to the woods, and it is always nice every year to see it uh, revisited. And uh, to give thanks and praise to Tutates, as well as our ancestors, uh, in, in the form of uh, commemorative pork. So this year we are going to, uh, to give offerings not only on behalf of ourselves, uh, but those first seven uh, official members of the Cranes. Do we, do we have names of those people? Do you, want to, do you want to do that? We have what? You, me, Lisa, Seamus, Lou. Jenny. Jenny and Judy. Judy. There we go. There we go. That's, that's it. That's your history lesson. We will talk about them more during the potluck if you like. All right. So, indeed. So, two tates, except our fork. <laughs> <laughs> We have learned a lot of things in those last several years, not the least of which for me is to be careful. <laughs> I'm wearing more white than I was back then. No. I have a wet thing. I have a wet thing. Is there further praise for Tutatis that needs to be brought forth? Yes. There it is. Okay. And let's go for it. We offer the abundance of harvest. I'm thankful for it. We got to try it in the garden. So we have given praise. We have all of our kindred for energy. We have called upon Tutates. And we have opened the gates. And we now ask for what the kindred have to offer for us, and we call for our own. What about the seed player out there? Before we do that, one final prayer a prayer of sacrifice. Because we've got stuff left on the altar, and we've learned that in the last 15 years, too. <laughs> yes, everything that's left on the altar is, is given at the end of the 
to all the spirits that have come forth, who've heard our voices, stood at the center, we call to you now. Spirits all, you who are welcome here. Spirits all, accept our sacrifice. Spirits all, accept our sacrifice. So now we have offered of our treasures, of our praise, of ourselves. And so we do ask, as is the ancient bargain, what blessings and inspiration and wisdom do they hold for us? Standing at the center of the sacred grove, gazing into the well of memory, we ask, what blessings do the ancestors hold for us this day? The ancestors give us the gift of mystical healing, powerful, magical healing. Standing at the base of the world tree, which reaches all the worlds, we ask, but blessing the spirit of nature hold for this this day. A few of balance. Spirits of nature call upon us to live lives of balance, to make our actions just and even, firm and fair, balanced. And finally, before our good and noble fire, standing here at the center of the sacred grove, we ask what blessing do the goddesses and gods of our people hold for us this day. View of the home. The gods, the goddesses, hold for us this day that at the center of each of our lives is our shelter, where we live. It is a sacred place. It's where your heart is, it's where your head is, perhaps your children, many of us, all of our possessions. These are sacred things, sacred places. Good to remember. So, we have mystical healing, we have balance, we have the home and heart. Children of the earth, these are good omens. Children of earth, having been given these gifts, it is now at the time that we ask to receive them that we may take them into ourselves and spread them out to our community. So we call forth to those shining gods and goddesses, the waters that are one for us, that are meant for us. We see them here now, we cut them off and we set them aside, that they may be filled with the blessings, that they may be infused with the blessings. And so we call out for those shining gods and goddesses who shared those waters with us time after time after time again. We call out to them now, and we say, Shining ones, give us the waters. Shining ones, give us the waters. And as they flow across the land, down the stream, down from the mountains, we call out once more, Shining ones, give us the waters. Shining ones, give us the waters. And as they well up from below, memories of our ancestors who received these blessings again and again and again, we call out, Shining ones, give us the waters. Shining ones, give us the waters. These waters infused with mystical healing. Think how you might take that blessing into yourself. What aspects are good for you? And then spreading out like a ripple further, what blessings from mystical healing are good for your community? And then as a further ripple spreads, what blessings of mystical healing are good for the world? And we think too on balance, appropriate this time of year, autumn equinox. We stand half in light, half in darkness. Think how that balance is good for you how it can infuse and inform your life. Think on that balance 
as the ripple spreads outward and how it may serve your community. And as that ripple spreads ever further, think how that balance is good for the world. And finally, our heart, our home, gathered here for the 16th time, we stand amongst our community. For many of us, this is our home. And so think how that home is good for you in those blessings. And think as that ripple spreads how that home is good for your community. And once more as the ripple spreads further, how is that sense of home and community good for the world? Children of Earth, is it your will to accept these blessings? It is. Then behold, the waters of life. Behold, the waters of life. Things to do. <laughs> uh, our first working is um, every year we give out this award for excellent service to the pagan community. Um, it's called the Legend Daughterman Award, and she was part of 
PCCO? Yes. Yes? Um, who, or her life was giving of herself to the community and giving and giving. And so we honor her every year by giving out this award to someone who we feel has served the pagan community. Now, in years past, there have been a whole bunch of people who are big, flashy, loud. Everyone knows Seamus. He's a Seamus award. He's out there in the front. He's, he's big and flashy and loud. Um, <laughs> we've given it to several people who are these big name pagans in our local community. And that's important. It puts us out there. It gives us lots to look at and to see people presenting this pagan ritual, giving of themselves in public. But a lot of people we don't see are those people behind the scenes. The ones who are not out there in front. You might not even recognize their face. You might not know who they are. Well, in our community, we have someone who, at an interfaith gathering, made sure there was a pagan voice. Two pagan voices, in fact, from different paths and traditions. We have someone who, after the horrible events in Charlottesville, where white supremacists took our sacred symbols, who said, hey, we really need to have a ritual for diversity and inclusion. Can someone make that happen? And so it is our pleasure to present Kristen with this year's Lesson of Autumn Award. <laughs> Accept it. We do. Will 
Will you offer him help if he needs it? Yes. Then show him her. We have a new first warden. <laughs> Victoria, who has won the scribe piece? Scribe of this script. Yes, I am. <laughs> you come here and face the foe. Would you like it? Around here? Yeah. <laughs> Too much. Repeat after me with this one. I say your name. I say the French. Do oath by the gods my people swear by. Do oath by the gods my people to uphold the office and responsibilities of the office of scribe. To, uh, to uphold the office <laughs> and responsibilities of the office of scribe. To serve the land, the kindred, and the folk. To serve the land, the kindred, and the folk. To seek help when necessary. To seek help when necessary. To step aside if life changes. To step aside if life changes. To let another take my place. To let another take my place. Let the sky fall upon me. Let the sky fall upon me. The land crumble about me. The land crumble about me. The sea rise against me. The sea rise against me. Should I be fortunate? Should I be fortunate? Joan of Earth, you have heard this oath. Do you accept it? We do. And will you help her if she needs it? We will. Then Joan of Earth, a new stride for this earth. <laughs> Hey, soccer. <laughs> I regret to inform you that I, uh, I won that election. <laughs> Are you prepared to take this out? I am. I mean, bro, you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Breathe deep. Repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Joseph Fargo. You oath by the gods my people swear by. You oath by the gods my people swear by. To uphold the office and responsibility of the office of senior druid. To uphold the office and responsibility of the office of senior druid. Good job. To serve the land, the kindred, and the folk. To serve the land, the kindred, and the folk. To seek help when necessary. To seek help when necessary. And to step aside if life changes. And to step aside if life changes. To let another take my place. To let another take my place. Let the sky fall upon me. Let the sky fall upon me. The land crumble about me. The land crumble about me. The sea rise against me. The sea rise against me. Should I be forceful? Should I be forceful? Joan of Earth, you have heard this oath. Do you accept it? We do. And will you offer help if she he should require it? We <laughs> <laughs> will. <laughs> <laughs> I got of myself there. So I'm Joan of Earth. <laughs> Sometimes all circumstances change. We have, <laughs> we have a new senior druid. <laughs> I call all of the officers up once more. <clears throat> you have heard the omens that we have received and known these waters to be blessed. You will need further blessing in the work that you do. And so. Face the folk, drink deeply of those blessings, and be supported by the spirits and the folk together. So be it. So be it. And the job of first warden has begun. <laughs> All right, I get to do all the fun work these today, I think. Um, I don't know, mixing up Joe's gender is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for five years now, I think four or five years, um, 
I have been the Grove Bard of Three Cranes Grove. And like all leadership positions, they are best when they are passed on. <laughs> Both for the person who has them <laughs> and for the good of the group. Yeah. So, my fishing. Sneaky. Sneaky. <laughs> I'm all about the sneaky working stuff. So. <laughs> Alright. The scattered seed gathered and sown. A song in harmony, tended and grown. A poem, a tale, written and told. The bard is born, taken into the fold. My fear shank, I name you the bard of Three Cranes Grove. As you take on this role, know that you do so in service to the folk of our grove, to write, to sing, to mentor, and to give. May a fire ignite in your head. May the waters feed your soul. May you catch the awen raining down and spin it into inspiration and honey words that inspire us all. And now the extra fun part. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not touching you with it. <laughs> all right. So it's good to have symbols of office. They're fun. They're pretty. And they are also useful as talismans to hold our energy to fill us with power that we call for. So I'm asking that we charge a new talisman for our Grove Bard, for them to hold and to pass on when the title is complete for them, when the work is done for them. And as this is a token for a bard, let us intone just one all in together. Uh, token, we've had, now that I am a previous bard, <laughs> we've had three prior bards of Three Cranes Grove. And as bardry is this idea that stories are continue, continually told and continue to flow, and also that that voice that carries through the ages is still valuable. So you're working that you get to do right now, right now <laughs> is, I, I have words for you, so you don't oh, have to come up nice. with some words. Thank you. And there's a part in here where you're going to connect the power of the token you've received mm -hmm. to these. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> For your service to the folk of Three Cranes, and the gifts of inspiration that you have shared with them, we are grateful. Encouraging new folk to grow, letting all inspired step into themselves, you have added a piece of your brightness <laughs> to our fire and nurtured the roots of our grove. You now join a group of bards whose work is still valued and whose voice is still heard. Jenny Hunt. Melissa Ashton. To signify our bards emeritus, we have tokens to give them. But first, they must be charged with the power of the Groves Awen to resound and harmonize with its inspiration. And though I will be doing this work with this token here, I ask you to join with me as you did to charge my token with an Awen that you will sing with me and to charge it with the power of the folk. Um. I have that paper back. <laughs> Thanks. Connected now to the Groves Awen, I give you this token, not only that you may be reminded of your service, but also so that you may remain connected to the bards and the folk of Three Cranes Grove. 
Just as each feather is integral to the crane, so too is each spark of awen, each bard integral to the grove. May inspiration continue to find you. Thank you, Dave. for blessing us one more year, electrifying us, 
as you so do to our court. To Tantes, we thank you. To Tantes, we thank you. To all the powers and spirits that have aided us, we call out once more and we say, <clears throat> Powers all, we thank you. Powers all, we thank you. All right. Garnish Crane, for your work, for your warning and guiding, we call to you. We thank you for the work that you have done, for the guidance you have offered to us, despite the fact that it took us a little while to figure out you make a great gatekeeper. <laughs> Garnish Crane, we thank you. Garnish Crane, we thank you. Now we ask that you join your magic with ours once more. Let the branches of the tree come down, the roots come up, and let this post be merely a post. Let the pillar of smoke be just arising from the ashes, that all of our offerings pass that gate and let this fire be merely dying embers. And let this well that has been eye and mouth of earth and journey for our words to the spirits be merely a vessel of water. Children of earth, let the gates be closed. Let, let the gates be closed. closed. And now we pulled out energy earlier for our human. And now we give back to the earth energy that we've held on to through what's used for the ritual that we no longer need. We feel those roots again into the soil. This time it's returning excess energies. We feel that it's flowing from your hands. We keep what we need for everyday life and those we've gained through this ritual. We turn the powers to the earth. Keep what we need. Let the earth take back what we don't so it would heal. To the powers of inspiration that have guided us, especially to Ogmios, God of inspiration, God of honeyed words, honey from the suckle. <laughs> Ogmios, powers of inspiration, we thank you. Ogmios, yes. powers of inspiration, we thank you. And last, we give thanks to the Earth Mother. We are reminded to be walking gently upon you. And we give you thanks for your presence today. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. Folk, we have no offerings left on the table to return. We've done our workings. We have our community. We have our potluck. Folk, today, this fight has ended. Well, we